What's up guys, I'm Steven. Last time, we made this thing, well, this thing. This is all the mechanical parts to the motion control rig that I'm working on. And in this episode, I'm gonna make the circuit board for this to control all the motors, and then flash Gerbil onto it, so hopefully it can decide how to move all the motors so I get some really nice camera shots out of this sucker. Sweet, so what does this circuit board actually have to do? The board's really gotta do two main things. The first is talking to my computer so it can receive the G-code file that it's supposed to be executing. And the second is controlling and driving three stepper motors that are actually moving the machine. Sounds good. Now, I'm not gonna be really doing too much new here. This is a thing that exists and you can buy on Amazon. People typically call them Gerbil Shields because they're designed specifically to interface with Gerbil as firmware. They have all the pins connected up right and like it's pretty plug and play. You just put Gerbil on it and it does everything you expect it to. This here is a shield that goes onto an Arduino. Whoops, it looks like I wired something together here. But it's pretty much just a microcontroller and a few stepper motor drivers. Now, this wouldn't be my YouTube channel if I were to just buy something off the shelf, so instead I'm gonna design a circuit board that takes all this and whoosh, crunches it into one single circuit board. Also, it's just so fun making boards. It's such, I just, I like, any excuse, any excuse to do it, I will take. Off the shelf be damned. Whoops, sorry neighbors. All right, let's make the gosh darn thing. Okay, circuit board is done. Now all I need to do is put Gerbil on it so it will interpret my G-code into actual motor movements and then make a whole bunch of really nice cable harnesses that will go out to the motors so this thing can actually drive them and move all my axes. Claire, can you say, let's do it? <laughs> That's so freaking sick. It works! So right now I'm just manually putting in G-code. I'm not using Blender to make any of my animations. I'm just like typing some stuff in. But it works! Gerbil actually flashed on super easy. I dropped in my stepper motor drivers. I just spend a lot of time tuning the steps per millimeter for each axis. And then I had to do a bunch of weird stuff with micro-stepping. And it was a lot of just fine-tuning to get it 
working right and exactly how I expected it to, but it goes now. If I put in change 50 degrees, you will rotate 50 degrees. So now, the last part is just getting Blender to generate a G-code file that I can send to this monstrosity, and then all my pre-programmed animations should play out beautifully just as I imagined them, and I'm gonna get some really, really smooth shots. That's it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Check out my Instagram page where I post pictures and updates about my projects way before they come out on YouTube, and I'll see you next time.